fire in West Charlotte. Thick black smoke can be seen pouring into the sky above the Queen City around 4 o'clock. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10 on this Monday night. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. The crew spent hours battling the fire, which sparked in a scrapyard. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce tonight has been in the West Charlotte area all evening. Daniel, you've been trying to get some answers tonight from the company that owns a scrapyard where the fire started, Southern Metals Recycling. What can you tell us? Yeah, well, I've been trying to reach out to them by phone, by email, and so far we are still waiting for answers to our questions. One thing I do want to note is that Donald Ross Road is back open. Traffic, as you can probably hear beside me, is flowing as normal. Meanwhile, we are learning that this right here is at least the third fire to happen at this site since 2009. I don't want to uh, associate this with what happened in Ohio. Um, I can tell you that, um, yes, this was a scrap metal fire. Uh, anytime you have smoke conditions, it is hazardous. The black smoke that covered the skies over Charlotte is only a small indication of just how much burned Monday afternoon. Metal, rubber tires, essentially everything that makes up a vehicle was on fire for more than two hours as Southern Metal Recycling crews and Charlotte firefighters fought it. Our cameras captured cars being removed one by one from piles and doubts. The company, they do a good job of making sure the fuel tanks are empty, but you may have some residual fuel or hydraulic fluid in the lines. And, you know, with the arcing and the sparking from moving cars, um, you know, could have caused a problem. That's exactly what happened in August of 2016. A fire ignited while vehicles were being moved. Studies at past scrapyard fires have found the black smoke and the burning of chemicals inside of the vehicles can cause irritation to people's eyes and respiratory systems and worsen chronic heart and lung disease. Chemicals found inside of the black smoke can also include asbestos, acid gases, metals and dioxins, which is why environmental crews are monitoring the air and the water around the site. Anytime you have smoke conditions, you're, that is the irritant. You're going you're gonna to have problems breathing, difficulty breathing. So um, that, that is a concern. But again, that has dissipated, and I don't see us, see us having any of those issues uh, in the Charlotte communities. Now, we have also tried to reach out to Charlotte Water to see what the environmental impact is to any of the groundwater. Again, those crews have been out here uh, since this happened, and we are still waiting for an answer from them on that and what they're seeing in terms of monitoring it. Now, there were some areas of the city that were impacted by this smoke because of what the weather was doing at the time. Tonight at 10 o'clock, I'll give you some insight into what exactly that looked like. Live in West Charlotte, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.